Guys, Roblox Adopt Me is going to shut down. I can't believe it. Welcome back to Lavish Roblox. Let's get into this video. Number four, no dating. Roblox has a set of rules that every player has to read in the terms and agreements. One rule that is highlighted quite prominently is that there is no online dating allowed in the game. The game has a voice chat feature which enables players to interact with other players in the lobby and can be used as a source for approaching someone with a not so good agenda. Considering that the game is focused towards a younger audience, mostly preteen, so a feature like voice chat leaves them vulnerable to so many things you would not want a preteen to listen to. When Adopt Me started to hit the popularity charts, it became a playground for adults to interact with each other and go on online virtual dates, which angered a large part of the community. Although this was not the only time that it happened, to this day it happens on a lot of other Roblox games despite many restrictions being imposed, an admin is deployed to monitor lobbies to find possible online dating and warn or ban people who wish to go against the basic rules of Roblox. Adopt Me landed itself in hot waters when the community's outrage towards online virtual dating within the game became way too obvious. Number 3 Diversity One of the best features of Roblox has to be its diverse community. A game intended for kids but the adults equally enjoy making up for most of the community, same goes for the game Adopt Me. The community is full of kids and adults at the same time. However, there is a serious divide among them. Most people think that the success of Adopt Me is correlated to the fact that a large number of kids play Roblox as the game model caters to a childish vibe. Like most of the other Roblox games, all the hate comes from the adult players who do not like how the game works. The constant updates have messed up the game according to a few adult gamers. The more mature audience refers to this game as an online shop, which is full of limited items and cosmetics that only cater to children. Adults do not fall prey to these tactics by the game developers. The initial success of the game is also owed to the younger audience. When the game's creator Dreamcraft added a pet rock as a joke to the game, surprisingly the game became a huge hit and is still the biggest game in Roblox's history. Number 2 Rumors Many would say that the game only gets hate because it is successful, which many other Roblox games were not able to do. Adopt Me did it easily. Certainly, if a game is able to attract over 1 million concurrent players at a time, it has to be really good. The hate had become so deep-rooted among a few that they started launching numerous rumors about the quality of the security wall of the game. Many spread the word that Adopt Me is very easy to hack, and in the case of a hack, all the premium items and Robux will be stolen. However, these claims were nullified by the creators of the game later on, even though the player base did take a significant hit. Scams are abundant in Roblox games, not just Adopt Me, but many popular and less popular games have fallen prey to scammers trying to fool children into giving away their Roblox credentials or their credit card credentials, resulting in huge losses for their parents. Which is another reason the adult adult opposition happened towards the game. Scammers usually try to use a namesake of popular games and promise the player of trading limited items for cheap or just straight up sending them Robux for free and in a game like Adopt Me, where most of the player base consists of kids, it's very easy to fool them. Number 1 Monetization This is the era of monetization. Free to play games are abundant and what people do not understand is that if they get addicted to the game they are in for a bumpy ride in monetary terms. Adopt Me has been heavily criticized in the last 3 years about their in-game store where players can spend their robux to buy or trade items. Robux that can be bought with real money, Adopt Me heavily prices their in-game items and they are not even worth it. The customization and designs available are overpriced and only cater to kids who are more likely to consider buying the feeble upgrades that provide little to no incentive within the game. According to a few players, the game model is very simple, however the in-game store is just bizarre and the developers are money grabbers trying to milk their customers off just because their game is successful by accident. This brings us to the end of our video, I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen, because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.